All right, I am back, and I am going to make another, do another 113, but this time, oh, I mean, if the whole area, let's say, is loaded with creatures, and I mean loaded with creatures, then maybe I'll stop and I'll attack them, but without that, I'm just going to go just... Elites, 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 elites. And, you know, hey, hopefully take a little more advantage of this 14% damage bonus to elites. See if that helps out. Right, here we go. Brave the rifts, and you will be well rewarded. Yeah. It's gonna skip them, skip them, skip them, skip them. I mean, healing. Oh, come on, this spirit aid me.
Uh, pretty much my least favorite map. Needs more time. Doing good until I came to this map.
Sometimes these guys that float in the air like this just seem really tough to target.
so close. Need more time. Yeah. That's missed it. Sometimes with guys like that, I don't know, it just seems like when I'm... It just seems like, I don't know if they're floating over and I'm just not targeting them. Good to see. Specifically, but I think, I think a lot of my poison darts miss with guys like that. <sighs> yeah. But I think there was a pretty big... Pretty good, pretty big improvement just going after just the elites. Don't be shy. Can't win every time. I cannot afford that. Hmm. This might be a little bit of a help, not a huge help, but a little bit. Gonna lose a half a percent on critical hit chance, but gain one percent against elites. And intelligence is higher, so that might help a little bit. Shrickety shock it. I'm gonna miss that arcane resistance though. Oh well. Shickety shock it. Toughness, I'm guessing, is from the loss of Arcane. Life after each kill, I guess. I, I don't think that's really... I don't think that really counts for anything. I don't know why they plug that into recovery. But I'll be gaining one, another 1% 1 versus Elites and a little bit of Intelligence. But I'm losing a half percent on critical hit chance, so... I don't think it's enough. I don't think 
that's enough to make any kind of a difference. I do like this though. This this is working out better. Better than this. But I'm definitely I, I know that my damage has gone down because I'm having to run, run, run for my life a lot. So I you know, every moment that I'm spending running is a moment that I'm not attacking, which is that's more or less reduced damage. You know, if I can't just stop and attack, and I have to keep running so I avoid dying, then um, you know, it's just it's just not it's just not working. So I think I don't think it's going to make a difference to give her this, but let's see if I can give her enough to load up on attack speed. How many? What do I got? I got 36. going to give her this one in place of her current one. Probably be a little bit better for her, but at this point I don't think it's going to matter too much with her anyways. I don't know. I don't think that the... Yeah. That loss of toughness may not have helped anyways. It's just a fine balance between... All the different factors that go into it, you know, I, I want more damage, sure, but if I reduce my toughness, like I did here when I switched out this Oculus Ring, if I reduce my toughness, then I have to run more, run for my life more, and if I have to run for my life more, then I'm not dealing damage at that point. So in that sense, you know, reducing my toughness is almost, it, it definitely reduces my damage also. I don't know, I think the 14% life is more important than the 6% critical hit chance. I waited 1500 years for this. Should I return to my slumber? And maybe that fire resistance is worth a little bit more than the controlling impaired effects, reducing the duration. You know, is that 3%? 
is that 3% and my oculus ring going to make a difference? Uh, I mean, it'll make a little difference, but you know, I'm not always in the oculus ring. A lot of rift guardians. Don't summon up creatures. So I think I'm going to keep the one with the toughness. Same thing with that Witching Hour. Same thing with this Dagger of Darts and Echoing Fury. Yeah, it does a lot of damage, but if I end up having to run away to avoid dying half the time, what good is it? Alright, well... I'm thinking it's time to augment another item. And I think I think I really just gotta start. Start doing that and, and finish out this season. Alright, probably let's do my depth diggers next. I'm certain that's gonna be in my build and if I find a primal one, well, that'll be life. What is your deepest wish? To serve my order valorously. Oh. You sound disappointed. Mm. Need my legendary gem. I don't think it matters if it's good stuff in it. Alright, so usually the damage goes up by about only 3%, which is, in my opinion, very sad. All that effort and work into augmenting, you only get 3%. So 10%, 3% is going to be... Oops, wrong one. 80,000... So I'm expecting to go up to 2,570,000. Here we go. Yep. So. Goes up anywhere between 3 and 4% for one augmentation. Meh. I think it, it should be better than that, but. I think you should get more for for all the work that you put into leveling up the legendary gem you should get more than a three percent boost but oh well all right all right i will be right back 